Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV. Welcome to Practical Caravan TV, your one-stop shop for all things caravanning. And this week's show is a particularly special one because for the next half an hour, we're talking tow cars. We've got all the nominees from the Tow Car Awards 2016 and we'll be showing you road tests of three of the winners. So if you're thinking of changing your tow car, don't move a muscle. Tow Car Awards. There's been a strong team from the start, bringing together experts from Practical Caravan, Watcar, and the Camping and Caravanning Club. Swift has supplied us with caravans from day one, and we've enjoyed technical support from Alco, Witter, and Milenko, and unfailing support from the many volunteers at the club. How do we test cars? Hard, that's how. We push much harder than you ever would on the road to find the cars which perform best in an emergency. We've been doing this a long time now. But which car will be our overall winner in 2016? To begin with cars weighing up to 1,400 kilos, this year's lightweight tow cars proved a very competitive bunch, with small crossovers taking on family hatchbacks and estate cars. These three cars made the final shortlist. The Honda HRV, the Kia Seed Sports Wagon, and the Skoda Octavia Hatch. Each of these cars impressed in different ways, but for its stability at speed and ingenious interior design, one stood out above the rest. We have a new class champion, and that car is the Honda HRV 1.6 ID Tech. The Honda HRV has been one of the surprise packages of this year's tests. As a tow car, its chief virtue is stability. At motorway speeds, it feels entirely settled. And even when we pushed beyond what would be legal in the UK, we had no nervous moments. As a car to live with every day, its greatest strength is the interior. There's more space than you'd expect of such a compact car. And the rear seat design is clever and flexible. The winner of our under 1400 kilogram weight class is the Honda HRV. We move on to the 1400 to 1549 kilo weight class. Compact executive saloons clash with family hatchbacks, small SUVs, and roomy estate cars in what proved to be one of the most hotly contested categories in this year's competition. From a very strong field, our judges debated the merits of these three the Jaguar XE, the Skoda Superb Hatch, and the Volkswagen Passat Estate. On pure towing ability, these three were hard to separate, but one car was not only brilliant to tow with, but also exceptionally practical and great value too. That car is the Skoda Superb Hatch. The 1400 to 1549 kilo weight category was always gonna be a hell of a challenge because of course it contained last year's winner, the absolutely brilliant Volkswagen Passat Estate but the new Skoda Superb just about matches it in every quarter. It's enormously practical, it's hugely stable, it even has more rear legroom than the Volkswagen. It's got a massive boot too, despite only being a hatchback. In the end, it went right down to the wire between the Passat and the Skoda. Had they been the same price, it would have been hard to separate them, but because the Skoda is several thousand pounds cheaper, it makes it a worthy and deserving winner. Next up, the 1550 to 1699 kilo weight class. Four by fours take on upmarket saloons and roomy family estates in this category. There's quality as well as variety here, so judges had to work hard to decide upon this shortlist of three. They are the Jaguar XF, the Skoda Superb Estate, and the new Volkswagen Touran. With strong performance, excellent stability, and a surprisingly spacious interior, the new class champion is a thoroughbred topar. Our winner is the Jaguar XF. 
The new XF, how does it improve on the old one? Well, the old one was actually a hugely successful car for Jaguar, so improvement on a great car was a challenge, but we did it. Primarily, the improvement comes through weight safe. So the new car is all aluminium construction, and what that means is we've got huge benefits in terms of efficiency. Well, earlier in the year, Almotti put the big Jag through its paces, and here's how that turned out. The new generation Jaguar XF has had less attention than its little brother, the XE, but as a tow car, it has the better credentials. It's got a much higher curb weight, a more practical boot, and a roomier cabin. We've been towing with the 180 PS diesel. With a curb weight of 1,595 kilograms, it has an 85% match figure of 1,356 kilos. For our test drive, we match the Jag to a Swift Challenger 590 with a mass in running order of just over 1,400 kilograms. The Jaguar has no trouble towing a caravan of that size and weight. Healthy top-end power helps, but it's the car's mid-range pull that really counts. There's 317 pounds-feet of torque from just 1,750 RPM, and the smooth-shifting 8-speed automatic gearbox really makes the most of all that muscle. Foot to the floor, the Jag accelerates from 30 to 60 miles per hour in 11.9 seconds. Jaguar has done a better job of insulating the cabin from engine noise in the XF than in the smaller XE, so even when accelerating hard, the 2-litre diesel doesn't become too intrusive. The XF gives you the confidence to make the most of all that performance because it's so stable at speed. There's not even a hint of nervousness at 60 miles per hour. It's assured and able in an emergency too. We pushed the Jaguar hard in our lane change test, and even with the caravan sliding behind it, the XF stayed under control, with no feeling that the caravan was pushing or pulling at the back of the car. You expect a Jaguar to drive well, but what you might not expect is how practical the XF is. The Jag may not match the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class for build quality, but there's a sporty look and feel to the cabin and plenty of space, with much more rear legroom than in the old car. Boot space is reasonably generous too, with a 540 litre capacity for cars with a puncture repair kit, dropping to 505 litres with a space saver spare. So, it's quick, stable and great to drive with or without a caravan in tow. Quite simply, the Jaguar XF is a brilliant tow car and a worthy winner of its class at the 2016 Tow Car Awards. Let's move on to the 1700 to 1899 kilo weight class. 4x4s, powerful estate cars, family friendly MPVs dominate this group. In fact, this is another selection with many strong contenders for the class win. These are the three cars that made our judges' final shortlist. The Audi A4 Avant, the Land Rover Discovery Sport, and the Volkswagen Passat Estate 4 Motion. All three of these cars towed brilliantly, but one stood out above the others for its stability, comfort, practical cabin, and much improved refinement. The winner is the Land Rover Discovery Sport. Discovery Sport improved on last year. What have we done? We're very excited about Discovery Sport. Actually, from a sales perspective, it's hugely successful. What we've changed since last year is efficiency. We've added a new engine, and that new engine has added refinement, but importantly, it's added efficiency and economy. The CO2 emissions are now down to 129 grams, with economy almost 58 miles per gallon. And to discover what a remarkable tow car the Disco is, we put it through our rigorous tow test. We were impressed when we first tested the Land Rover Discovery Sport, but it was held back by an ageing engine that wasn't as fuel efficient or as refined as it could be. Now the Discovery Sport is powered by one of Jaguar Land Rover's new Ingenium engines. Is that enough to turn a very good tow car into a great one? To find out, we match the Discovery Sport to a Swift Elegance 570 with a mass in running order of 1,561 kilos. That's an 83% match for the Land Rover and well within its 2,200 kilo legal towing limit. The two litre engine is comfortably up to the job of pulling a caravan of that weight, accelerating from 30 to 60 miles per hour in 12.6 seconds. 
That's brisk rather than really quick, but there's enough pulling power to handle steep inclines, and hill starts are a doddle. What's more, the engine is much quieter and more refined than the old 2.2 litre unit. Plenty of 4x4s struggle with the lane change test, but for the Discovery Sport, it was straightforward. We had to push very hard indeed before we could feel the caravan gently pulling at the back of the car, but it never dragged the Land Rover off course. On the motorway, the Discovery Sport is such a reassuring car to tow with. It's unfazed by crosswinds, it's never upset by overtaking high-sided vehicles or bumpy stretches of tarmac. It just tows straight and true for mile after mile. The Land Rover is a practical tow car as well as a stable one. There are seven seats inside when rivals like the Audi Q5 and BMW X3 only have space for five. Even if you don't need the extra seating, there's good reason to choose the Discovery Sport over its rivals, with plenty of head and leg room in the middle row and a commanding driving position. A more upmarket finish would make the Land Rover better still. With all five seats upright, the boot is quite small, but with the third row folded away, there's lots of room for bags. With the middle row folded down too, there's more luggage space than in many estate cars. So the new engine has made a big difference to the Discovery Sport. It's now competitive with its key rivals in terms of economy and emissions, and much quieter when you put your foot down. Everything we already liked about the Land Rover still holds true. The cabin is roomy and practical, and stability when towing is excellent. The Discovery Sport was a very good car. Now, we think it's the best mid-size 4x4 you can buy. Now we come to the last of the five main weight classes. It's the turn of the tow car heavyweights in the 1900 kilo plus division. It's no surprise that big 4x4s dominate here, but this year they were challenged by a couple of pickups and petrol electric hybrids go head to head with powerful diesels. In the end, our judges weighed up the strengths and the weaknesses of this final three. The Audi Q7, the Land Rover Discovery and the Volvo XC90. As you might expect, we'd be more than happy to tow with any of these three. But after a lot of discussion, our judges did separate this talented trio. For its supreme towing ability, effortless stability and spacious cabin, our winner is the Land Rover Discovery. So what is it about Discovery that makes it such a strong tow car? The key thing about Discovery really, it is a true Land Rover. We describe Discovery really as being the heart and the centre of gravity for the Land Rover range. It has some of the luxury from Range Rover, has some of the capability from a Defender, but also what Discovery brings to it is versatility. Core to the Land Rover brand DNA is capability. Part of capability is its ability to tow. So Discovery has the ability to tow three and a half tonnes as most Land Rovers do, and core to that is the way it does it. It does it in a very refined way. It does it in no fuss, and frankly, the car will throw, will take anything that it's thrown at it. No other car has won more often at the Tow Car Awards than the Land Rover Discovery. In fact, there's been just one year in our 10-year history when the Discovery wasn't among the winners. New arrivals have come along with more modern interiors and more fuel-efficient engines, but the Discovery is still the best big 4x4 to tow with. Uh, that brings us to a brand new award to celebrate our 10th anniversary. Over the past decade, we've tested more than 440 cars. Many have been good, a handful have been great. Which has been the very best of all? Well, that was the question our judges asked themselves when deciding on our tow car of the decade. Now, you might think it would be a difficult task to pick out one standout car, but in the end, the conversation was surprisingly short. Since winning the competition overall in 2010, this car has never been beaten in its weight class. Year after year, newer models take a shot at the title, but all have fallen short. By the time of next year's awards, this car will have been replaced. We're sure its successor will be lighter and more fuel efficient, but it'll have to be truly exceptional to make a better tow car. Our tow car of the decade is the Land Rover Discovery 4. So how much does tow car of the decade mean to Land Rover? Simple, a lot. It is hugely proud that Discovery has this award. It is a very important award to us because towing is a key part of the Land Rover DNA. 
and to actually know that Discovery has consistently won this award to the point that it's deemed Tokar of the Decade, we cannot be prouder of this moment. Now we move on to the award for the best petrol tow car. Not everyone covers enough miles to justify the extra expense of a diesel, and the best modern petrol engines combine plentiful pulling power for towing with strong economy and impressive refinement. There was little argument over the winner of this award. As one of the most powerful petrol tow cars we've tested in our 10-year history, this car was impressively quick. As well as being fast, our favourite petrol tow car is stable, well-equipped and roomy. The winner is the Ford Mondeo Vignale EcoBoost. And to get the award, Ford's Mondeo product manager and enthusiastic caravaner, I understand, Paul Baines. So the engine in the Mondeo Vignale is a two-litre EcoBoost. So the clue, Echo and Boost, you drive the car under normal load conditions. It's a very economical engine, returning very good fuel economy. But the boost suggests it's turbocharged, so again, when you want to push on, it's got 240 PS, plenty of torque, so it, it's the best of both worlds. It gives you the economy when you want it and the power when you need it. And uh, the engine in the Mondeo Vignale is also available in the Mondeo range and uh, some of our other large cars as well. And uh, yeah, it, it's a powerful engine, so again, it's effortless to drive and that it makes a pleasurable car whether you're driving solo or you've got your caravan behind you. Just a handful of awards left to go before we announce 2016's overall winner. Uh, the first is for the best ultra-light tow car. It's open to cars that are too light to tow a full-size caravan or have low legal towing limits, but which can pull a small trailer. Now, not everyone owns a big caravan. Owners of trailer tents or micro-caravans can safely tow with a small, light and economical car. That's what this award is all about. This year's winner is a great car for towing small trailers with the go-anywhere ability of four-wheel drive. It's got lively performance and a long list of standard equipment. 2016's best ultralight tow car is the Suzuki Vitara S. Now it's time for the Green Award. This year, economy testing returned as part of the judging process. A short list of the most economical cars was driven around the same circuit, most of which was tackled at a steady 60 miles an hour. The motorway limit, of course, when towing a caravan or trailer in the UK. We brimmed the fuel tanks at the start and the finish of the route to check each contender's real-world towing economy. We were looking for a car that would prove economical, of course, but which we'd also be happy to recommend as a tow car. Our winner achieved 31.6 mpg while towing and put in an impressive all-round performance too. The winner of the Green Award is the Kia Seed Sports Wagon. <laughs> Now we move on to the best MPV award. For large families, a good MPV is hard to beat. In judging this category, we've looked for a car that combines space for seven in a practical cabin with reassuring and predictable behaviour when towing. Now our favourite MPV of 2016 delivers on all fronts. It's a great family car with flexible seating and lots of clever design touches. It's also a stable tow car and heavy enough to make a suitable match for most big family caravans. The winner is the Seat Alhambra. There is just one award left, and it's the big one, the overall winner of the Tokar Awards 2016. Our judges had plenty of worthy contenders to choose from this year. Four of the five main weight category winners are new for this year, showing just how strong this year's new tow cars have been. Which of these many great tow cars has come out on top, Al? Well, this, win this year's winner is a great car in so many ways. First and foremost, it's brilliant to tow with, combining strong performance and effortless stability. We'd happily get behind the wheel to tow from one end of the country to the other. Unhitch your caravan or trailer, and you can enjoy a car that's great to live with every day. Not only does it drive well, but it's exceptionally practical, with a roomy interior and an enormous boot. It's also brilliant value you get so much car for your money. A worthy champion for so many reasons. The overall winner of the Tokar Awards 2016 is the Skoda Superb.
naturally to be named overall champion is, is, is fantastic. Uh, to win a class is absolutely incredible. But it's not just us in the UK. Back in the factory in the Czech Republic, there are thousands of engineers that work tirelessly on developing new product. And actually, this is testament to the hard work that they've delivered in this product. To find out why the Skoda was a worthy winner, it's time to hand over to Monsieur Motten. The first thing to notice about the new Skoda Superb is just how big it is. On the outside, it's similar in size to many executive saloons, but on the inside, it offers limo-like rear seat space. But don't just take my word for it. Come and have a look for yourself. Now, I'm six foot three, and the driver's seat has been set up for me to drive comfortably. And just look how much space I've got. I'm struggling to think of another 22,000 pound family hatchback that's anything like this roomy. So, it's clearly a very practical car. Now let's find out how well the Superb tows. Despite its generous dimensions, the Superb is quite a light car. Our 150 PS 2 litre diesel has a curb weight of 1,485 kilos, including 75 kilograms for the driver. That gives an 85% match figure of 1,262 kilos. We match the car to a Swift Expression weighing 1,325 kilograms. It may be quite light for a car of its size, but that hasn't compromised the Superb's ability to tow. It's very windy today and I can see the caravan moving from side to side in the mirrors, but there have been no nervous moments. The Superb had no trouble in the lane change test either. Despite a damp track and blustery winds, the manoeuvre was impressively undramatic, which is just the way we like it. In both towing and solo driving, we found comfort and stability to be best with the optional dynamic chassis control in normal mode. Comfort was too soft and sport too fidgety. There are more powerful engine options than the 150 PS diesel, but it has plenty of pulling power for towing any sensibly matched caravan. In fact, at times it almost feels too strong for its own good. In wet weather, with the weight of a caravan on the back, it's easy to spin the front wheels if you pull away from a junction too quickly. Use a gentle right foot and you can expect impressive fuel economy. The official combined figure is 68.9 mpg. We achieved 30.6 mpg while towing. We started out by noting how much space the Superb has for passengers. It's just as accommodating of luggage. It's hard to find any really big chinks in the Superb's armour. The Skoda is huge inside, it's keenly priced, and it's a very stable tow car. It could do with being a little bit heavier for matching purposes, but otherwise, the Superb lives up to its name. The last gongs have been given out, the final caravan has been towed into the sunset, and we've come to the end of the show. Next time, we'll be back to a more familiar format with just the one tow car, plus, of course, loads of great caravan reviews and a visit to a top campsite. Until then, you can keep up with us on Twitter or Facebook and via our website. And don't forget that Practical Motorhome TV will be along in just a few minutes. Until then, bye bye. Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV.